competitive examination taken by millions of students every year in India. Based on the February 2016 question paper in the Computer Science Information Technology branch, it's a problem in computer networks. Here is a question. J 2016 Computer Science Information Technology, paper 2, question 55. It's a fill in the blanks question, it is a communications. The problem, question 55. Consider a 128 to 10 to the power of k bits per second satellite communication link. This is the bandwidth. The one way propagation delay of 150 milliseconds. Selective retransmission repeat protocol is used on this link to send data with a frame size of 1 kilobyte. 1 kilobyte, notice that is bytes, so 1024 bytes, 1024 into 8 bits. Neglect the transmission time for acknowledgement. The minimum time, minimum number of bits required for sequence number field to achieve 100% utilization is how much? It's a fill in the blanks question. Now the bandwidth is 128, you get to the power of k bits per second. Let's call the bandwidth B. 128 you get to the power of 3 bits per second. The packet size or the frame size is 1 kilobyte. 1 kilobyte is going to be 2 to the power of 10 into 2 to the power of 3 or going to be 1000 into 8. It's going to be so many bits. If I divide L by B, I can say I'll approximately get 1 by 16 seconds or 64 milliseconds. This is going to be the transmission delay. Acknowledgement time can be ignored. The bandwidth is so much, 128 to the power of k bits per second. Packet size is 1 kilobyte. Transmission delay t is 64 milliseconds. We have got 100% utilization is what we want to achieve. 100% utilization is 1. We have got a window size into transmission delay divided by transmission delay plus twice the propagation delay. So this is going to be window size into 64, 64 twice into propagation delay. Propagation delay is 150 milliseconds. Substitute that over here. That is 364. So we'll get over here. Window size is 64, 64 plus twice propagation delay. So T64 is the denominator, 64 is the numerator. Solving it window size on one side. This becomes numerator, this becomes denominator. 364 by 64 is 5.6875. That is the window size. So having determined the window size 5.6875, the sequence numbers will be twice that. So it's going to be somewhere around 12. Nearest power of 2 is 16. So I want bits. In other words, available sequence number is log of 16 of 4 bits. So 4 is going to be the answer. End of the presentation. Thank you for your attention.